Mary Guyton, 56, lived a simple life. She was a woman of routine, finding comfort in the familiar rhythms of her days. She loved her family, cherished her friends, and found joy in everyday moments. Her home was a sanctuary, filled with warmth and love. Laughter filled her home, a testament to a life well lived. Every corner of her house echoed with memories of happy times. Baking was her passion, her apple pie legendary among those who knew her. The smell of freshly baked goods often wafted through her kitchen, inviting and comforting. Life was good, predictable, comfortable. Mary found solace in the predictability of her days, each one a mirror of the last. Little did Mary know, fate had other plans. A storm was brewing on the horizon, unseen and unexpected. One day, a nagging cough lingered longer than usual. It started as a minor annoyance, but soon became a constant companion. Mary dismissed it as a stubborn cold. She believed it would pass, just like all the minor ailments she had faced before. Then came the fatigue, an exhaustion that sleep couldn't cure. It was a weariness that seeped into her bones, making every task a challenge. Still, she brushed it aside. Mary was determined to carry on, to not let a little tiredness disrupt her life. Life went on, but a seed of worry had been planted. Deep down, she knew something wasn't right, but she hoped it was just a passing phase. If you want to hear more inspiring stories like Mary's, make sure to subscribe to Vital Living Over 50. Stay informed, stay inspired. The doctor's appointment started like any other. Routine checkup, Mary thought. But the physician's face, usually etched with warmth, held a gravity that sent a chill down her spine. A mammogram, a biopsy. Words that hung in the air, heavy with unspoken implications. The call came on a Tuesday. Mary will never forget the way the word malignant pierced through the normalcy of her day. Breast cancer. The world seemed to stop, yet somehow kept spinning. Tears flowed freely, a mixture of fear, anger and disbelief. The news hit Mary's family like a tidal wave, crashing into their lives with an unrelenting force. Her husband, John, his face etched with worry, held her close, as if his embrace could shield her from the harsh reality. Their children, now adults, grappled with the news, their own fears mirroring their mother's. They exchanged glances, each one searching for answers in the other's eyes. The future, once bright and promising, now seemed shrouded in uncertainty. Dreams and plans were suddenly put on hold, replaced by a fog of doubt and fear. How could this be happening? Why her? These questions swirled in their minds, unanswered and relentless. These questions echoed in Mary's mind, a constant refrain that kept her awake at night, searching for meaning in the chaos. The diagnosis was a cruel thief, stealing her sense of security, replacing it with a gnawing fear that settled deep within her. But amidst the turmoil, a spark of determination ignited within her, she would fight for herself, for her family. She would not let this diagnosis define her or dictate her future, for a future free from fear. Together, they would face the unknown, drawing strength from each other and holding on to hope with unwavering resolve. Chemotherapy, a word that struck fear into her heart. The first session was the hardest, the nausea, the fatigue, the hair loss, it all chipped away at her spirit. But Mary was a fighter. She clung to hope, to the love of her family, to the small victories. There were good days and bad days. Days when the world felt bright and days when the darkness threatened to engulf her. Through it all, John was her rock, her unwavering support system. He held her hand through the pain, whispered words of encouragement and reminded her of her strength. Section 5. Love in the face of fear. Friends and family rallied around Mary, forming a protective circle of love. They brought meals, offered rides to appointments, and flooded her with cards and well wishes. Their unwavering support was a beacon of light, a testament to the power of human connection. Her granddaughter, Lily, would visit after school, her youthful innocence a welcome distraction. Lily would hold Mary's hand, her tiny voice filled with a wisdom beyond her years. Grandma, you're my superhero, she'd say her words infusing Mary with a renewed sense of purpose. Section 6. Finding Strength Within Through the gruelling treatments and emotional turmoil, 
Mary discovered a reservoir of strength she never knew she possessed. She learned to find joy in small moments, to appreciate the beauty of a sunrise, the sound of birdsong, the warmth of a loving embrace. She started a gratitude journal, filling it with words of appreciation for the people in her life, for the simple act of breathing, for the strength to keep fighting. Her faith, once a source of comfort, now became a lifeline, a source of unwavering hope in the face of adversity. Section 7. A New Normal. The day finally came when the doctor uttered the words she had longed to hear. You are cancer-free. Tears of relief, gratitude and overwhelming joy streamed down Mary's face. The journey had been arduous, but she had emerged victorious. Life after cancer was different, forever changed by the experience. There were scars, both physical and emotional, reminders of the battle she had fought and won. But there was also a profound sense of gratitude, a newfound appreciation for the preciousness of life. Section 8. Living with Gratitude In this chapter, we delve into the transformative power of gratitude and how it can reshape our lives. Mary embraced her new normal with open arms. She found solace and strength in the simple act of being grateful for the little things in life. She dedicated herself to living with intention, savouring every moment with her family and friends. Each shared meal, every laugh, and every hug became a cherished memory. She became an advocate for early detection, sharing her story to inspire and empower others. Her voice echoed in health awareness events, reaching out to those who needed hope and guidance. Mary Guyton, the woman who once found joy in baking apple pies, now found her life's purpose in helping others. She volunteered at community centres, offering support and a listening ear to those in need. She became a symbol of hope, a testament to the indomitable spirit that resides within us all. Her journey was celebrated by many, and her story became a beacon of light for those navigating their own struggles. Her story, a poignant reminder that even in the darkest of times, hope can bloom and love can light the way. Mary's journey teaches us that gratitude can transform our perspective, turning challenges into opportunities for growth and connection.